Hello fellow growers and fans, it's Berkshire Bud, and today I'm going to review this Petra Tools Fokker and their Crop Defender Organic Insecticide and Fungicide. All of the ingredients in the Crop Defender are exempt from registration with the EPA in the United States. The active ingredients are listed as soybean oil, corn oil, sodium lauryl sulfate, and peppermint oil. It also lists some inert ingredients, water, isopropyl alcohol, and citric acid. Interestingly enough, although the citric acid is listed as an inert ingredient, it's probably one of the most effective ingredients in this, especially for treating white powdery mildew. Since I'm currently having a little bit of an outbreak of powdery mildew on some of my plants, I'll be trying this out uh, and seeing how it works. The package directions say to dilute it two tablespoons, one fluid ounce per gallon, which comes out at about eight milliliters per liter of water. We'll check in on those plants later on. But first, let's take a look at this fogger. As you can see, it really is built rock solid. It's got a large opening on the top for filling with water and whatever you're spraying, a comfortable set of backpack straps with a back protector and a waist strap, and of course, the fogging tube. Now, one thing you may notice about this is that there's a little hook on the side for attaching the fogging tube to. Uh, you may find out that it slips out of that rather regularly. There's not a good way of holding it on for sure, so you may need to MacGyver something. That's definitely one improvement that Petra Tools could do here, but nonetheless, I'm glad they at least included it. One other item that you'll need to pay attention to is the AC power cord. You don't want that to be tugging on the motor there at that white connector, so I would recommend taking a cable tie and attaching it right onto the base of the backpack unit itself. You'll also want to make sure that all of your attachments are on fully. You'll notice this one's a little bit loose, which was causing me some problems with the spray dropping out any time I lifted the fogger above my waist. But as long as those are tight, everything works great. Okay, so now that I've got a couple gallons of water mixed up with some Crop Defender in the tank, let's get to spraying. First thing is, let's go after that powdery mildew on those indoor plants. On second thought, as you can see, my indoor grow space is very small. I'm growing in a 4x2 tent and a 3.3x3.3 tent, and I'm not sure if a fogger that can spray 20 feet is going to make the most sense in here. Let's try something else. Well, I do have a greenhouse. It's a small one, and it's winterized right now, so there's no plants in there. If you did have a big greenhouse, this would be a fantastic product for you. Let's see what else they have to suggest. Looking in the Petra Tools catalog, there's the fogger, and hey, he's using it outdoors. Perfect. You might have noticed that it's still barely spring here. That means all of my fruit trees are dormant, and I'm going to be spraying some of this Crop Defender as a dormant oil. With all of those horticultural oils and other ingredients in it, it should be perfect for smothering some of the pests before the buds break. It's a little bit windy out today. If I was spraying anything other than an organic insecticide that's mostly oil, I certainly would not be spraying outdoors on a windy day like today. You'll notice that this makes a very, very fine mist. It's actually more of a fog. That makes it sit on leaves much better it also makes it blow away a lot faster. Using it as a dormant oil on these stems, I'm having a little bit of trouble covering the smaller branches, but with a little bit of persistence, I'm able to soak everything down very nicely. I'm hoping this will help me deal with some of the early spring pests that I often have on my trees. Anytime you're using any pesticide, whether it's organic or synthetic, be sure to check the label and follow the instructions for any personal protective equipment that the manufacturer recommends. Sometimes there'll be different equipment recommended for handling the concentrate and for spraying it. In this case, the manufacturer recommends wearing eye protection and gloves when handling the concentrate. I suspect that's primarily because of the large amount of citric acid that's in here. 
In any case, I'm a little bit concerned about the small droplet size of oils, and so I'm wearing an N95 mask just to be safe. While it may seem like it's taken me a long time to spray this little tiny tree, I have to remember it is 12 to 15 feet tall and it has quite a few little branches and I'm trying to soak the bark on every single little branch. I will say that if I was using a hand pump sprayer on this, I'd be here for close to an hour just for this one tree. As it is, in 5 or 10 minutes, I have this tree done. Although I'm using this product as a dormant oil on my fruit trees, you can use it for all sorts of things. On the label, PetraTool says that for mites, thrips, and white flies, you can apply it every day for three to five days. For russet mites and hemp aphids, you can apply daily for one week. For powdery mildew, apply every day for one to three days. And for preventative maintenance, apply weekly maintenance after pests and mildew are under control. So a quick word about IPM. IPM is Integrated Pest Management. And while a lot of people think that means spraying stuff on your plants, it actually really means what it says it is, integrated pest management. What you're going to want to do is make sure that you are reducing the possibility of pests getting into your plants, that you are cleaning your growing space regularly, and that you have both preventative controls in place, such as crop defender or another preventative treatment, as well as addressing any pest infestation as quickly as possible. Given the force that comes out of this fogger and the distance that it can spray, I would suggest using it on a 5x5 growing tent at the smallest, and then anything else moving up from there. It would be absolutely perfect for a commercial indoor growing space or anyone who's growing plants in a larger area. As you can see, it also works outdoors, although you will have to have quite a long extension cord in order to get that powerful motor plugged in. I almost forgot one of the most important parts about this fogger. It is very efficient on material that you're using. In other words, I have treated almost six trees here with about two gallons of solution. So that's a total of four tablespoons or, or two fluid ounces of the concentrate. The concentrate says it will make 32 gallons, which means if I were to use this exclusively on my fruit trees, I could probably treat them about 16 times, which is years worth of IPM for me. As the shadows get lower here at the Berkshire Bud Homestead, you might notice that I'm holding the fogger nozzle a little bit strangely. I keep holding it down below my waist. That's because this was the point where I was having trouble getting the sprayer to actually make a fog. Every time I lifted it up above my waist, I got nothing but air. And so I had to hold it down below my waist and point it up in order to spray this tree. I wasn't sure what was going on, and I was afraid that there might have been a problem with the PetraTools fogger. It wasn't until afterwards that I realized that I had not fully tightened the attachment where the sprayer hose attaches to the tank, and that air was leaking in there and preventing me from getting a fog. It's just a good reminder, every time that you have this off, tighten up all of those connections to make sure that they are airtight. And again, as you see those trees blowing in the wind in the distance and that fog spreading out across my lawn, I do not recommend using a fogger in this level of wind. There's probably a good steady 4 mile an hour wind here with it gusting up to 10 or 15 not the day you want to be spraying anything outdoors. On the other hand, the wind is blowing towards my yard and a little bit of organic pesticide and fungicide on the grass isn't going to hurt anything. Now, in case you're not one of those people who reads every page of a manual when you get a new product, this is a manual that I highly recommend that you read. The Petra Tools manual is only a few pages long and while it does have a lot of, a lot of text, the pictures are very easy to follow. If you don't follow it, you're going to end up with some of the difficulties that I had. So do yourself a favor, take five minutes and read through the three or four pages. It'll be worth it. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video where we have some b-roll footage and outtakes. Also, I'll be doing a follow-up video about these fruit trees later on in the summer 
so you can see just how well this IPM worked. And I'll be using the fogger on some of my other outdoor growing later on this summer. If you subscribe and set the notifications, you'll be sure not to miss any of those videos. Grow or love everyone. And while you're waiting for the B-roll footage at the end, why don't you take a minute and subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and like this video. It really does help. Okay, you ready for this? I just turned this sucker on. <laughs> okay, <you> ready? <laughs>